The days of swords and shields are far behind us. Now the US Army is geared up with its latest body armor and cutting edge technology for 2024. Designed to protect America's finest, this gear combines advanced tactical features with futuristic design. From better ballistic protection to built-in communication systems, every aspect is made for top performance. Curious about the technology driving these innovations? And how they fit into today's security systems? Join us as we reveal the US Army's latest gear. It's been a whopping 57 years since the US military last issued a new service rifle. But that's all about to change, and this isn't for the faint of heart. The Legacy M4s and the M249 Saw are getting a serious upgrade. Courtesy of the Next Generation Squad Weapon Program, launched in 2017, this initiative aimed to revolutionize the modern battlefield with cutting-edge firearms and armor. Fast forward to 2024 and the US military is finally rolling out these sleek new weapons. The 101st Airborne Division at Fort Campbell, Kentucky is putting them through their paces. So what's the big deal? Well, warfare has transformed dramatically over the past five decades. Body armor technology has advanced by leaps and bounds and militaries worldwide are supporting fancy new gear. Have you wondered why Rambo always makes it back from every mission? Well, it's his guns. So the United States has taken a cue and did the supposedly impossible thing building guns that terrify everyone. The first component is the SIG XM7, a new service rifle built upon the renowned SIG MCX spear platform. This advanced firearm boasts improved accuracy and range, providing soldiers with a decisive edge in combat. The XM7's enhanced performance is a significant leap forward, ensuring that US forces remain unmatched in marksmanship. Complementing the XM7 is the SIG XM250, a squad automatic weapon designed to deliver unparalleled firepower. Built on the SIG MG 6.8mm belt fed gun, this platform offers increased lethality and reliability. The XM250's advanced design enables soldiers to suppress enemy positions with precision, providing critical support in high intensity engagements. The third component is the Vortex Optics XM157 Fire Control System, a game changer in ballistic calculation and laser range finding capabilities. This advanced platform enables soldiers to rapidly calculate target distances and accurately engage. The XM157's sophisticated technology seamlessly integrates with the XM7 and the XM250, creating a cohesive and formidable combat package. The integration of these three components marks a significant milestone in modernizing US military firepower. The NSGW program's innovative approach ensures that soldiers possess the most advanced tools to dominate the battlefield. As the US military continues to push the boundaries of innovation, the SIG XM7, XM250, and the XM157 will play a vital role in shaping the future of combat operations. The NSGW program's success heralds a new era of combat effectiveness, where accuracy, firepower, and precision converge. As these cutting-edge systems are deployed, US forces will maintain their strategic advantage, ensuring the safety and security of the nation. The future of combat has never looked brighter. These innovations will significantly impact infantry fighting tactics and body armor development. The future of modern warfare just got a whole lot more interesting. Overall, the XM250 is lighter than the M249 saw, but its combat load is slightly heavier. Still, it offers significantly improved range and higher penetration against body armor and light vehicles. According to military reports, yes, the new 6.8 by 51 mm cartridge when fired from the XM7 rifle can penetrate even level 4 SAPI armor plates. Nobody's going to want to mess with these guns. Can you believe there's even more? Let's delve into that. Let's talk about keeping an eye out for one's enemies. The United States Army isn't playing around and has been at the forefront of innovation, constantly seeking to enhance its capabilities in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. The latest addition to its arsenal is the Vampire. No, we're not talking about the blood-sucking, century-old, light-detesting monster. We are talking about the Vehicle Agnostic Modular Palletized ISR Rocket Equipment, which is simply called Vampire. It is a revolutionary system designed to provide unparalleled situational awareness. Vampire represents a significant leap forward in ISR technology, leveraging rocket-based systems to gather critical information. 
This modular palletized system can seamlessly integrate with various military vehicles ensuring flexibility and adaptability in diverse operational environments. By providing real-time video and sensor data, Vampire enables commanders to make informed decisions enhancing mission effectiveness. At its core, Vampire boasts a range of features that set it apart from existing ISR systems. Its modular design allows for effortless integration, while the palestized system facilitates easy transportation and deployment. Vampire's multi-mission capability supports various ISR tasks, including reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition. The system's rocket-based sensors enable extended range reconnaissance, providing critical insights in congested or hard-to-reach areas. The benefits of Vampire are multifaceted. By enhancing situational awareness, commanders can optimize tactical decisions. The system's increased reconnaissance range and improved target acquisition capabilities ensure more effective mission execution. Furthermore, Vampire's flexible deployment options and reduced logistical burden make it an attractive solution for diverse operational scenarios. This innovative ISR system boasts a sophisticated architecture that seamlessly integrates multiple key components. At its core, Vampire leverages rocket-powered sensors providing unparalleled reconnaissance capabilities. This advanced technology is complemented by a modular palletized system allowing for effortless transportation and deployment. The system's communication suite ensures seamless data transmission while the sensor suite delivers comprehensive situational awareness. Vampire's mission planning software rounds out its capabilities, enabling commanders to make informed decisions. It is expected to become a cornerstone of the Army's ISR capabilities, providing unparalleled situational awareness and reconnaissance capabilities. With Vampire, the US Army has taken a significant step forward in modernizing its ISR capabilities ensuring its continued dominance on the battlefield. Don't worry, this one doesn't bite. Did you know the United States Army also uses a beast in its next-gen weapon system? It's very surprising, so stay tuned and find out more. This next one will take your mind back to watching Iron Man take so many punches and bullets to the head and never get hurt. That's right, the NG IHPS is an improved version of an IHPS helmet that has been fielded in limited numbers for several years. It is a major step up from the Advanced Combat Helmet or ACH that most soldiers have been issued over the last two decades. The NG IHPS gives soldiers increased ballistic and fragmentation protection while reducing the weight required to previously reach this protection level by 40%. According to Major Matthew Nolk, Assistant Program Manager of the Head Protection Team, the newest version has slightly upgraded polyethylene and no through holes, which improves the protection and catching capabilities of ballistic rounds. Previous helmets made of Aramid or Kevlar were a rigid material that would kind of destroy itself and stop the bullet, Nook said. Whereas the polyethylene material is more like a catcher's mitt, and the way it'll catch a bullet attenuates that energy over a wide area than that Aramid does. The NG IHPS improves on previous helmets like the Advanced Combat Helmet fielded in 2003, which was rated to protect wearers from pistol fire and fragmentation. The first iteration of the IHPS offered protection from small firearms, while the new version that was fielded this week improves on that protection. The NG IHPS has retention and suspension systems and a helmet cover that can be modified with hearing protection, communication devices, or a mandible protector which is fielded to 6% of the force in a mounted configuration. The helmet was designed to integrate with the Army's next-gen night vision devices like the Fraught Integration Visual Augmentation System, or IVAS, and the Enhanced Night Vision Goggle Binocular. Absolutely cool, right? Well, wait until you see the next one. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world for the U.S. Army, which is experimenting with rifle-equipped robot dogs at a Middle Eastern testing facility. Definitely not your regular hunting dogs. As Military.com reports, the branch has deployed at least one new lone wolf robot dog to test out its anti-drone capabilities at the Red Sand Integrated Experimentation Center, a joint military research facility in the Saudi Kingdom that opened last year. Manufactured by the newly Korean-owned firm Ghost Robotics, the pioneering maker of gun-toting robot canines, the AI-enhanced machine was described by a brand spokesperson as one of the several pieces of machinery to be part of its anti-drone arsenal. 
In that same interview, the army Spocks declined to collaborate more on the robot dog specifically. But the sheer thought of having a robot dog use an AI-enhanced rifle has us concerned in all sorts of ways. According to Military.com, the Department of Defense has been incorporating more robot dogs into its combat formations every year. For everything from explosive disposal and perimeter security to surveillance and intelligence gathering, these robots are often equipped with cameras and other sensors that can see and hear better than humans, like IRL canines. It's unclear exactly how AI plays into the gun's specs, but it appears that the technology controls the gun's turret mount, per comparisons to another military test that used similar robot dogs to shoot drones out of the sky. Like the Army, the US Marine Corps has also contracted Ghost Robotics to provide it with AI-armed robo-mutts. As the Warzone reported earlier this year, the Marine Corps has even worked with the firm and others to develop its own bespoke weaponry to attach to the robots. When reached for a comment, a company spokesperson said they can't comment on what the US Department of Defense does with our robotic platforms. This next level of tech is going to make Iron Man fire Jarvis. So, how do you see this new United States Army's latest toys? Let's hear your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating and fascinating content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.